Hello everyone, happy new year. What's going on with your new year's resolution? Did you already give up? Are you sticking to them? Either way, check this video out because it's going to help you stick to your new habits. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Toby. What's going on creators? My name is Jeremiah Stringer. One habit that I've changed is that every morning I wake up, I would write a checklist of things that I need to do over the day. I used to have a bad habit of being depressed. And the habit that I changed was drinking soda. Hi everyone, I'm Nick Redmark, a professional life coach. If you want a free coaching hour, check out the link in the description below. Just pick a date and a time and we can get to know each other and you get the taste of what coaching is all about. So very soon we are going to talk about how to change habits, but first we should ask ourselves why change habits in the first place. In our daily life there are two types of activities, goal-oriented and habitual. Your goal-oriented behavior is much more flexible but weaker. Your habitual behavior is less flexible but stronger. Imagine that this is your life. You want your life to go up, so you use your willpower to pull it. But if your habits pull in the opposite direction, there is no chance for you to turn your life around. So what you need to do instead is to use your limited willpower to slowly turn around your habits and then allow them to pull your life. There are different types of habits. External, behavioral habits are easier to see. Waking up early, eating healthy, drinking enough water, stretching in the evenings, drinking soda, write a checklist of things that I need to do over the day. Those are all behavioral habits. But then there are internal mental habits, worrying, ruminating, automatic negative thoughts and other thinking patterns are less visible but affect your life just as much. I used to have a bad habit of being depressed. Good mental habits include mindfulness, gratitude, self-compassion, and kindness. So how do we change our habits? For this we need to understand the so-called habit loop. And for this I'm using James Clear's book Atomic Habits as a reference. I highly recommend it. It has a ton of practical advice. I believe it's the best book about habits out there. The first component of a habit is the so-called cue. It's the signal for the habit to start. The cue can be something in your environment, it can be a certain time of the day, it can be a certain feeling or a certain thought. The cue then originates a craving in you, the desire to act. You feel like opening the fridge, you feel like checking your phone. Then follows the visible, obvious part of the habit, which is the actual routine. And then what follows, if any action is to become a habit, is a reward, which reinforces the whole thing. Now that you know this, you have a powerful tool to engineer your habits, to make them stronger or weaker according to your needs. Perhaps you want to stretch in the evening, but you haven't defined exactly when. What's the situation? What time? What circumstance? So what you need there is to design an obvious cue, such as an alarm clock telling you that it's time to stretch, or a sign on the bedroom telling you before enter stretch please. The next problem could be that you don't feel like performing the habit when it's time. And there, the solution is to make the habit more attractive. One tip, for example, could be to stretch always during the first minutes of your favorite TV show. But perhaps it's the routine that is way too hard. You never stretched before and now suddenly you want to do one hour of yoga every day. You're setting yourself up for failure. What about doing three positions as a start? With 30 seconds per side, you're going to be done in three minutes. And finally, if your new action isn't satisfying once it's done, you won't feel like doing it next time. It's important that your reward comes immediately after you are done performing the habit. The reward could be as simple as checking off a checkbox every time you're done stretching. So this is the core message in James Clear's Atomic Habits. Make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy and make it rewarding. If you want to stop a bad habit, then you need to do the opposite. I would write a checklist of things that I need to do over the day and I find it really helpful because it's uh, really organized and I always know that uh, what tasks that I need to accomplish over the day. So yeah, that's really helpful. The habit that I changed was drinking soda. I actually gave that up while I was in high school in 2010, but in college and in my early career, I actually put on a lot of weight. Then in 2016, I decided to change my nutrition and my exercise habits that led to me losing around 100 pounds. Now with that, I discovered many new activities, some of those being hiking and backpacking. 
that led to me starting a YouTube channel where I can share my passion for hiking and backpacking with others. I used to have a bad habit of being depressed and I got over it by being married for 20 years to a woman who was always gay and happy and whose solution to everything was to laugh and also by going through some terrible suffering. So to, at the end, I'm now able, every time I'm tempted by depression or despair, to look on the bright side and feel happy about things. Let's talk about a more advanced technique which is called habit stacking. Something extremely powerful that you can do is use existing habits to add new ones. So the ending of one action becomes the cue for the next action. And over time what you can do is build routines, meaning a list of actions that are always taken one after the other. So you can have a morning routine, an evening routine, a work start routine, an after lunch routine and so on, where you stack all the habits that you need and you always have that routine as a base that you can use to add and subtract new things. For example, my evening routine now consists of 10 steps. The first four being taking a protein shake, making order around the house, taking some magnesium and doing an evening stretch. I shared my full routines on my personal development app. Check it out on app.nickredmark.com. As a final note, it's important to remember that you will never be done adapting and refining your habits. So perhaps you should also add that activity to your habits. That's it from me. If you want to start your year strong, remember there is one hour free of coaching that you can get from me. Link in the description below. Just pick a time and a date and we can get to know each other and assess your life from a bird's eye perspective. And meanwhile, if you want more personal development advice, then subscribe to this channel. I produce content almost daily. See you on the other side. Happy New Year.